Do you need a gaming monitor to play games? No, of course not. Each monitor should be assessed from its reviews rather than its claimed specifications. In the description of this video is a link to my site where I have an in-depth description of all non-game related problems you need to look out for when getting a monitor. This video is mainly about gaming. CRTs used to offer a tangible advantage over thin monitors due to their higher refresh rate and lower delay, but LCDs really have caught up and if you're stuck with a CRT or old square LCD, then there's no reason for you not to upgrade to a newer monitor, which will provide numerous advantages. The previous few I've had have been standard cheap monitors, but I took the plunge and bought a flashy monitor. I myself am using a BenQ XL2420, which I got because I was curious about 3D in games, but also because of the knock-on benefits it would provide. It displays 3D by flickering 120 times a second between the two viewpoints, and because of that it has to have very good response times and almost no ghosting. Because of this, its 2D mode is perfect for gaming and a lot of pro gamers seem to use the monitor because of that. Personally, I haven't felt any difference in games between 60 and 120 Hz, though for desktop use the mouse cursor feels far smoother. Not that that's too important. What is important is that it delivers a very crisp picture even when there's a lot of action on screen, and if you want to go pro and like the idea of CRT equivalent refresh rates, then I can recommend this monitor or a newer version of it. There are numerous types of monitors available. TN screens tend to be cheaper, use less power, have a fast response rate but have poorer picture quality and terrible viewing angles. IPS displays tend to be more expensive, use more power, have almost perfect viewing angles and better, more vivid colours, though they often have slower response times which make them worse in games. There are other types as well, but as I said at the beginning, their quality depends on the monitor in question. I've only ever had TNs and am more than happy with them for everything I do on the PC. And I do all kinds of stuff. Larger screens tend to suffer from higher delay. I believe that 24 inch screens are the best trade off at the moment. Some pros continue to play games at low resolutions and without widescreen, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Maybe they're used to it through years of practice, but I'd advise widescreen and the highest resolution you can, as the more pixels the better, provided it doesn't slow down your PC. There's nothing worse than being shot by an enemy who's just off the edge of your screen. For desktop use, I loved my old 16x10 monitor, which ran at 1920 by 1200 The extra vertical space allowed me to watch full-sized HD movies and pictures while still having my desktop and browser toolbars on screen, which was great. It also helped in other desktop activities, but didn't do too much in games. For gaming, get a 16x9 monitor, as this offers the widest normal field of view, even more so than the 16x10 monitors, which on paper appear better, but their extra vertical space is actually at the expense of field of view in games. The most commonly used 16x9 resolution is 1920x1080, and most monitors now come in that resolution. Unlike old CRTs, you're now pretty much restricted to the monitor's native resolution, or exactly half of that as other resolutions will appear stretched and of a lower quality, even when taking into account their lower resolution. This is down to how the pixels are displayed on LCDs, and there's not a lot you can do about that. Stick to the default, native resolution for your monitor. People with three monitors will in theory have an advantage because they'll be able to see either side of them as well, though I personally can't say if this is beneficial or distracting, so remain neutral on the matter. I will however say that people who game on two screens are idiots. I hope that this has helped inform you about monitors and how they can affect gaming.